So after that crazy fiasco of uh, adding death to the truck tank, I'm headed to San Angelo from El Paso uh, to pick the truck up. Uh, this is one of the most uh, scenic uh, airports I've ever been in. Check this out. Landed in uh, San Angelo after a little bumpy flight, but not too bad. And uh, the truck is right here. They brought it over from the uh, dealership and parked it for me. So that's pretty cool. All right, I got the truck. Uh, and you figured that for as much as I paid, which was, get ready for it, $15,000. You figured that they would have at least uh, washed it, but it's dirty as heck, as you can see. Uh, on top of that, they could have added a little bit more diesel to it. They drained it completely and left it right below a quarter of a tank. So I'm filling up now. And like I said, I'm going to hit the road. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just being weird. <laughs> well, let her get over her. <laughs> what are you looking at, Luca? <laughs> Good thing I wasn't singing. So we're at the uh, Isleta Mission which is one of the three churches that make up the El Paso Mission Trail. Uh, this one is called uh, La Misión de San Antonio de Isleta del Sur. Uh, and it's described as a 19th century Adobe New Mexican style mission church. So uh, we're, we were planning to hopefully check out two, maybe three of all three of them today, but time's running short. We ran, uh, we ran into heavy traffic on the border and we will only probably be able to see one. Uh, we'll maybe squeeze in the second one. We'll have to come back later for the third one. Socorro Road, which runs from Isleta to Socorro to San Elisario is the designated mission trail. The nine mile route represents a segment of El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, the historic trail that extended from Mexico City to Santa Fe and linked the missions, agricultural communities, haciendas, landed estates, and presidios, military forts, to distant trade and supply routes. It is the oldest and once the longest road in North America. Isleta Mission is the oldest continuously active parish in the state of Texas, and the community of Isleta is the oldest town in Texas. While Katrina was in Las Vegas for a keto event, Luca and I visited the last two missions. Socorro, help, took its name from Socorro, New Mexico, from which the Pito Indians fled following the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. Many of the parishioners refer to their mission as San Miguel in honor of their patron saint or as La Purísima in honor of the Blessed Virgin forever pure. The San Elisario Chapel reflects the influence of European architectural styles on the earlier box-like missions of the region.
The flood of 1829 destroyed the original chapel, which was rebuilt in the same vicinity. The present-day chapel was completed in 1882. Since then, the exterior of the building has changed little, except for the front facade. The interior was damaged by fire in 1935 and has experienced dramatic changes. Yep, we're going to the mountains. Been a rough morning this morning, <laughs> screaming, complaining. Filled out some adoption papers. Cause for celebration. We got out six minutes earlier than what we were expecting. Usually it's an hour later. So maybe we should complain and scream every single morning. That's why my Mommy, throat is always hoarse. My shoes are covered. But on a more uh, lighter note, we uh, yes. it's Saturday and we're able to, to go out. <coughs> Katrina's been scheduled the past few Saturdays, so we haven't been able to do anything. Today we're planning to head to Las Cruces, uh, to the Las Cruces Farmer's Market, which is supposed to be a blocks long uh, farmer's market that goes twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. I figured we'd come see Saturdays because it'll probably have more vendors. Uh, then after that, we're planning to finally make it out to the Slot Canyon for a hike out there. Yeah. So we finally made it to the Slot Canyon uh, here in, uh, not sure if the city is Radium Springs, but uh, we've tried a few times. We finally had a chance to make it. As you saw, in order to get here, you have to either jump that green fence or just crawl underneath that side there, which we all did. But uh, from reading the reviews, you just, uh, it's a one and a half mile loop. It says that it's not uh, well marked. Uh, and if you want to get to the slots, you just make a left as soon as you walk in, which we did. And this path we're on is going to lead us into the, to the canyon. So we'll see how far we go. Check out the uh, canyons and then just go from there.
Oh yeah, or a turtle. So according to the reviews, apparently this is a loop, but I have no idea where the loop goes. So we're just gonna go back through the canyon. scary uh, I've never been in a in a slot canyon before it's my first time uh, and it just feels like it's gonna come down on you but when you actually touch the walls you'll see that it's not like soft sand it's actually hard well kids definitely change how you enjoy your hikes because I think the first hike we ever went on remember it was like Loma was it in Loma Linda do you remember? Me and you? Yeah. Yeah, in California. <laughs> I was actually remembering that the other day. It's funny you mentioned that. Oh, yeah. That was the first hike that we ever went on. And after kids, it just takes... You have to leave extra time for things. Did you have fun? Yeah. You have fun?